Hey guys, Ramsey here. Welcome to another video. Today we've got a late night insight video on a new fragrance and it's from the House of Rogue Perfumery and this is called Targi Forest. Now, here's the thing about Rogue and they're a house that I used to really rate highly um, and they're a house that I actually have four fragrances from. One of them is under lock and key. It's called Tabak Vert. I was too lazy to go get it but I've talked very highly about uh, Shepra Siam, and this actually made my um, top 100 niche fragrances, and uh, Bon Monsieur, this made my top 100 niche fragrances. Uh, I consider these almost reference modern fragrances, or I do in these bottles, and I don't know if you can sort of see the color of the juice in Shepra Siam, but um, it's extremely dark, and in, in these older uh, bottles. The whole point of Rogue, from my understanding, when, when the house really hit the scene, um, the whole explanation was that we are a Rogue. We go against the, the stream. We don't like Ifra, and we're not going to abide by their standards. And I think what ended up happening is Manny Cross sort of found that the money was making fragrances to sell to Europe. And so being non-IFRA compliant really killed that. And so I think they slowly started to say things like, well, we've always been IFRA compliant, which I just didn't buy. And as soon as I sort of heard that, I was like, just completely shut out from the house. Like I just completely turned off. And, I, and maybe that's not fair to him because there are some other scents that I want to talk about on the channel. Uh, he made Dervish part two, which I do have part one. He made a part two and he changed some things up. And he also did Veti Flor, which is a good scent. And I have a roller sample of that all. I'll do a video on that one of these days. Um, but I pretty much just sort of tuned out from the scent, okay? Or from the brand. And if you know me, you know that uh, I don't really do these videos for clicks from the algorithm or views or anything like that. This is a hobby for me. But I like to do these new um, fragrance reviews whenever I get the chance because uh, there's a lot of people who go for the newest thing that to review. They're kind of looking for clicks. And so I feel like there's very few people out there that are willing to really stand on their own two feet and give their opinion, right? And um, so I always go into these just shooting straight, whether I agree, disagree with what the crowd says, however I feel, whether it sounds right to everyone else, I just try and, and say it. And, um, you know, if the algorithm likes it or doesn't like it, I don't really care. I'm the anti-algorithm channel, if you will. This one, I can tell you right off the bat, without going into scent profile, without going into notes, without going into anything like that, this is a winner. They have an absolute winner on their hands here. Um, this is the type of perfumery that gets me excited. There's very little that gets me excited still nowadays. It has to be really great. And I'll tell you what, uh, Manny Cross hit a home run with this, in my opinion. Now, I think he also hit a home run with Bon Monsieur, which is also a fougere. But Bon Monsieur, to me, is really more of a classic fougere. So think of something like uh, Gucci Nobile. So when people are always like, oh, I can't smell Gucci Nobile, it's $850 on eBay, I just tell them to go buy a bottle of Bon Monsieur, right? So uh, this is taking that fougere DNA and it's modernizing it is the way that I think of Targi Force. Now, I've only worn it on my skin today. So this is truly an early impression. I wore it to bed. I've had it on my left hand for about four hours in the evening and I just did a re quick reapply right before I'm about to go to bed just to experience the opening again for the video. And um, I'll tell you what, if you want sort of an image, forget about the notes, forget about any of that, but if you just want an image of how this scent makes me feel, think of this house. This is a house called Pine Ward. And Pine Ward's fragrances are all sort of geared towards being outdoors. And you can sort of see the color of the juice in their fragrances. I'm gonna be talking a lot more about this house too, because I think this also deserves a spotlight on the channel. And I've been putting it off for too long, but. Imagine the aesthetic of this house, um, the outdoors, you know, uh, handcrafted uh, bag that it comes in. And, you know, this, this guy's like a kid making the fragrances, but he's chasing his dream. He's doing something he loves. This fragrance feels like Manny Cross finally pushed all the bullshit aside, okay? He was Ray Charles to the bullshit. He, he was blind to it, and he just decided to do what he loves to do. Okay, that's the way that I view this scent, smelling it. I just imagine him just tuning out, going to his little zenful place and creating something from the heart. That's what it feels like to me because when you smell it, well, let me read you the blurb. Um, 
Let me read you the blurb and then I'll sort of give you my two cents on how it really makes me feel. So the olfactory profile, according to Rogue Perfumery's website, which by the way, this is sold out uh, in both the 30 mil, which is $85, and the 75 mil, which is, um, uh, I'm not sure exactly how much the 75 mil is, but I think it's 150 or something. Um, and so olfactory profile is woody, mossy, amber, tart, uh, Targi Forest centers on the moment when the morning sun begins warming the pine trees and a resinous, sweet, musk-like fragrance begins to fill the air. So, interestingly enough, there's going to be a couple fragrances that have a sun, um, uh, sunrise, you know, sun warming um, theme coming very soon. And um, this is one of them. So the aroma of the, of the moist forest soil mingles with the scent of the silvery carpet of sagebrush covering the nearby hills. Venturing deeper into Targi Forest, the fragrance of rich woody cedar and lush oak moss is grounding, soothing, and uplifting. Now, one thing that I will tell you about this scent, and I don't know if he just got back to his roots, I don't know what's going on, but to me, this is the oak moss that I know. If you know uh, Rich Mitch, the oak moss that we know from the 80s, this feels like there is a just a slug, an absolute dollop of natural oak moss in here. It smells so textured and, you know, it's like you can smell all of the little details. It's like you're running your hands on this oak moss on the inside of a... It's like you've stepped into the tree and the oak moss is all around the inside of the tree. And so since you're standing inside of the tree and you're standing uh, at the base and you're looking up, you can, you can see all of the, the wood on the inside of the tree working the way up the tree. And you can smell the wood and you can smell the leaves and you can smell the oak moss and you can smell the sagebrush and the pine needles on the floor. And if you can just imagine what the sun rising, hitting the, the forest floor for the very first time, the pine trees, and maybe the, the tree reacts by releasing a little bit of resin that is the opening. It is spot on the opening. It's perfect. It's perfectly described. Um, I pick up something that is modern in, in the sense of iris. So the note listing here is amber, cedarwood, citrus notes, fir, balsam, geranium, juniper berry, musk, oak moss, patchouli, pine, and sagebrush. So there's no iris, but there it almost is something that has this heliotrope, irisy like a chord that starts to come out. I'm not sure exactly what that is yet, and that's why I say this feels like a true, just, Bon Monsieur feels like just a classic up and down, you know, sharp execution of a fougere. This is how I imagine a proper fougere to smell. This, Targi, uh, I guess it's Targi Forest, not Targi He, um, Targi Forest feels like he's stuck with the DNA that he really loves, but he wanted to modernize it. But... He wanted to modernize it in the way that he wanted to modernize it. He didn't try to appeal to some group of people that, you know, even if you did exactly what the focus group said to do, they wouldn't like it anyways. He just stuck to his heart. You can tell that he created this from a place of peace and comfort. And he obviously, you know, went to the forest and meditated or whatever he did, took in, you know, the experience, really lived it in his soul. That's what it feels like to me. It feels like this is somebody who really understands the forest. Um, I don't think somebody that didn't truly understand the forest, didn't understand, you know, listening to the birds singing in the morning, the squirrels running about, the, um, you know, all of the leaves on the ground when you walk, the crinkling of the dead leaves, and uh, just the smells and sights and sound of the forest. I don't think someone that didn't have a deep understanding of that landscape could create this. And, you know, the, the picture on the front is also perfect. It almost looks like a Bob Ross painting. You know, it's got the happy tree on the front. Um, and so there's a little bit of that. Uh, but the color scheme is perfect. The darker green tree, the lighter green sort of sun uh, shining through the, um, you know, uh, uh, silvery, as they say, carpet of sagebrush on the ground and it says as an art artisan perfumer and a dad of two rambunctious boys i spend most of my da days indoors and do not have time to think sometimes i feel isolated once i go into my studio in the wee hours of the night when it all seems too much i head 
to Caribou Targi National Forest, a short drive from my house. I leave stress behind and spend time with nature. The silence of the forest cuts me off from the commotion at home as if the commotion had never begun. This is a primal silence that centers me. Sounds like something my buddy Eugene wrote. Fragrance notes of juniper berry, fir balsam, sage brush, citrus pine, oak moss, geranium, amber, cedarwood, patchouli, and musk. Okay, so yeah, 75 mil is $156. The website just updated. Both are sold out, the 30 mil and the 75 mil. Oh, so um, a couple things about the scent. It does feel modern, but it has a vintage feel to it. It doesn't feel as vintage as Bon Monsieur, but because it has this modern touch somewhere, and I'm not sure where it's coming from, it feels like, there's some carrot seed or some iris or orris root or there's something giving it a little bit of this powderiness, but not too much. And in fact, into the dry down, the powderiness comes out a little bit more and maybe there's just a touch of vanilla. I don't see vanilla listed. I don't see iris listed. I don't see any of those type of notes listed. But if you've ever smelled this, if you've sort of smelled the way that, oh shit, let's not break stuff, shall we? If you've smelled the way that um, Carner's D900 sort of does this um, take on uh, Dior Homme, but a very powdery, extra powdery vanillic take, right? There's a lot of, this is like one of the king powder fragrances. And imagine you took a little bit of that powder and you blended it with a, a, a proper up and down classic fougere, no bullshit um, sweeteners, no, uh, modern ambroxan, no, uh, ambrosinide, none of the shit that they use nowadays to try to smell blue and modern and fresh and any of that. This is just, as he says, a fragrance that is primal in its silence and centers him and it feels, it really does feel like the forest. I think, um, Rogue Perfumery, I'm um, just one, obviously it's very hard to make a, uh, judgment off of just one wearing um, but when, when you just have a little decant, sometimes that's, that's, that's what you have to go off of. But my initial impression of this is extremely positive. Very, very positive. Uh, this is something that I would say anyone who likes Fougere fragrances should smell. Anyone who likes Manny Cross's old works should smell. You know, if you like what he did with Sheep or Siam, this is sort of a return to form. These are obviously completely different fragrances. Actually, I lied because I have... Uh, I said I have four rogues. I actually have five because I also have Moussa Lumine. Um, so I have Moussa Lumine and um, Tabak Vert, which um, all five of them, the ones I have bottles from, are from him are absolutely amazing. And then I just sort of, I don't know, I sort of lost interest. They changed the caps. They uh, rumor came out they were trying to say they were always if for compliant. And I just sort of, uh, I don't know, I, it almost felt like he sold out a little bit to me. Uh, whether that's true or not, that's just how I feel. And I always try to shoot straight from the hip to everybody. And and whenever, you know, the whole point of the brand was that he was a rogue going against Ifra, and then for them to come out and say, well, we've always been Ifra compliant, right, wrong, or indifferent. It just rubbed me the wrong way, and I looked elsewhere. I didn't look at the house again. And so special shout out to Hari for um, supplying me with this, because... Um, this is this is a full bottle. I mean, it's full bottle worthy. Will I buy a bottle? I don't know. I'm sort of on a little bit of a, not a buying hiatus, but there's just no need, honestly, at the point I'm at in my journey. But I wanted to do this video for you guys because even though I don't know the fragrance to be able to say, okay, at hour one it does this and at hour two it does that, I can tell you the way it makes me feel. And it feels like this is a very natural creation that is modern but also has a, a air of vintage and it doesn't have any of those modern aroma woody ambers everyone seems to hate all of a sudden doesn't have any of that shit that puts you off you know this is a this is a modern fragrance for vintage lovers okay so if you're someone that wants to sort of experience what vintage fragrances used to be like in the past, but you're not someone that wants to go scour eBay and look for vintages and all that stuff and read the fine print with a magnifying glass to make sure you got the right uh, you know, you make sure you got the right distributor and all that stuff. Just if you're looking for just a modern, well put together and very fairly priced 75 mils for 156 bucks, even the 30 mil at 80 bucks or whatever it is. I think that's very, very fair. So especially with some of the niche pricing we've seen nowadays. So I know I was very hard on Manny Cross. Um, 
for what happened and what felt like uh, to me, kind of getting everyone on board and then taking a hard left turn. Um, but this is a return to form. I am I am proud of him for this. And I know he's a, he's a person who was a chef and he just sort of fell into uh, loving making fragrances. And so, you know, for him to create something like this, honestly, I'm proud of him. It, uh, this is good. This is really, really, really good stuff. Um, all the lovers of the vintage Fougere masculines should give this a try. There's also a tiny little hint of leather, even though it's not listed. Um, the dry down starts to go even more powdery, so the leather doesn't seem to come out in the base as much. It seems to kind of co-mingle in the beginning, like this slight little bit of leather with the juniper and the fur and the pine and the sagebrush and all that stuff. And if you could just imagine putting all that in a pot and just letting the sun warm it up, it just, it's absolutely calming and yet so um, classic. So proper, you know, this could easily be a work fragrance. This is, this is, um, it's masculine on one hand, but it's modern, you know, it, um, it has a little bit of flair for dramatics, but it's classy. It, you know, it just does so many little things. Big fan of this, absolute big fan of this. So, um, thanks again for, uh, to Hari for, for sending this my way. Um, and, uh, really, really, um, enjoyed getting to know this so i uh i know i usually don't do these don't get to do these new fragrance videos uh as often as i would like to just because it's so hard to keep up with everything but to everyone who has sent me something thank you very much if you've smelled uh targi forest by rogue perfumery i'd love to hear your thoughts um glowing glowing review from from like a first impression for me so um do leave a comment below i love the interaction with you guys thanks for watching cheers and i'll catch you next time Bye bye